Hello, it's me. I'm back. I know everyone's been on pins and needles. Um, it's only been a couple of years since I have posted a video. The last um, one I posted a day later, found out I was pregnant. That's why if you go back and watch it, I was like, kind of like emotional. So finally I was pregnant. And then um, you would think that like being pregnant would be the perfect time to film mukbangs. Um, but that pregnancy was, um, I don't know. Like I just wasn't like into food as much as my first pregnancy. Like I could have made, I could have, I should have made mukbangs of me just like eating ice my whole pregnancy because that's all I ate. Then I had a baby um, almost two years ago now and she has been a handful so I haven't even had a chance to like um film mukbangs I know everybody all of my dedicated followers are are so want to know so bad but um so first opportunity to sit down I've actually tried to film two other times but the baby wasn't having it um so she's in daycare now and I picked up some food and I took a bite and uh realized I have a lot to say about onion rings So, today I got time. So I went to Arctic Circle. And I don't know if all Arctic Circles are created equally, but this one by my baby's daycare is like kind of elite. See, I fucked up by waiting too long. Now they're kind of cold, but... So yeah, I was, I had so much good things to say, but now that I'm taking it out, I don't know if I just let them sit like a little too long. I'm talking about like, I maybe picked them up 10, 10 minutes ago, probably less than that and drove home. Um, and I was so, I had so many good things to say, but now that I've like taken it out, uh, let's see, where's the camera? It doesn't really look, yeah, see, it was kind of like, kind of burnt. They were so fresh and hot though. And the one I had in the car literally made me want to pull over and like film a mukbang and talk about um, onion rings. Because <laughs> um, one thing I cannot stand, which I wasn't, uh, was which is what I was enjoying, was like when people, I don't, and I don't know why some onion rings do this and some don't, but like when you take a bite of an onion ring and it's like really hot and it just like you can't really bite through the onion it's um and the whole thing comes out of the batter the fried part and just like the whole onion just like slaps you on your chin um and these ones i they're just they i thought they were like cooked perfectly and maybe they need to be cooked like longer and slower so that the um onion is like a little softer um because you can just bite through it do you know what i mean do you know what i mean like I've really, I've thought about like making, like not doing it myself, but I'm like, somebody needs to make onion rings more kind of like fry shaped, just cut them in half, like an onion, like an onion crescent. And so you can eat them like fries. So that doesn't happen when the onion comes out of all the batter. Like these are pretty good. Just some of them are burnt. Um, and another thing I didn't know. I asked her for onion ring sauce, and she's like, sorry, not onion ring sauce, for fry sauce. Ooh. Uh, anybody who doesn't live in Utah or doesn't know what fry sauce is, um, it's basically just ketchup and um, mayonnaise mixed together. And it's perfect for fries and onion rings. So... I asked her for fry sauce, and she goes, oh, I already put um, regular fry sauce and spicy fry sauce in your bag. I said, spicy fry sauce? Let me find out. So anyways, Art Circle, near my near my daycare. They're, like, I think they're slept on a little bit. I don't know if Art Circle in general is, or just this one is um, particularly good. But like I said, when the onion rings were hot, I was, I was thoroughly impressed. Then come to find out they have spicy fry sauce, so like even better. 
And like, it's like a pretty good quality burger. If you look at it, it's got like the potato, potato rolls, which are delicious. And a, and a good indicator that you, you got, you're eating quality stuff. <laughs> Do you know how seriously I take this? Is the, see the purple onion, the red onion at a, at a fast food joint? Like, that's, that's a, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Not to mention, um, it was seven eighty nine for the for the meal, and I want to say I got a medium. I got like a, a larger size meal, um, and that was with the onion rings, this the burger, and and the drink. And nowadays, I feel like fast food used to kind of like be around that much for a combo meal. But I swear, like McDonald's, you're like a combo meal. You're not gonna pay like less than $10. Am I right? So, so considering all that, our uh, Arctic Circle is good in my book. Okay. Funny thing, I don't really like pickles on my um, burgers. It's like a little bit too overpowering. However, I don't ask them to take it off because I like... <laughs> I like the the little bit of pickle flavor that it leaves behind. Like having the pickle is too much. But the little I guess the little juice it leaves behind. I like that. Um every once every once in a while I eat like a pickle, but for the most part I take them off. Only downside is um, and you know what? I remember being a kid and loving Arctic Circle, and the same one that I go to now. It's a little bit further from my house, and even further from my mom's house. And I remember when we'd go to the dentist, Arctic Circle would be this Arctic Circle would be like in the vicinity so we so I loved it as a kid and anytime we go to this dentist I'd ask to go to Arctic Circle um because I remember being a kid don't look at my nails I'm literally going to a nail appointment right after this I was on my way to a nail appointment but I forgot my laptop at home and I was hungry so I'm like I'll just stop and eat when I pick up my laptop um but I remember as a little kid um, thinking they had the the best toys in their kids' meals. And they do. Well, I don't know if they still do. But back then, their, their toys were elite. Look at their the top. Their lids. Uh, only downside is they have pre Pepsi products. I'm not a big soda fan anyway. Um, sometimes I do go through phases though. Where I'll have like sodas with my meals. And when I do. It's definitely Coca-Cola. Stupid truck. Um. I don't know anybody who like actually prefers Pepsi over Coke. So I got a Dr. Pepper since all they had was. All right. Dr. Pepper is the only like out of all the Pepsi products. That's the only one that you would prefer that over like Mr. Pib, you know? Nobody likes Sierra Mist over Sprite. Nobody likes Pepsi over Coke. Like, Dr. Pepper's all they got going for them. It's keeping them alive. It's keeping them afloat. That and, like, Super Bowl commercials. 
Is um, I don't even know if our circle is like a Utah thing or not. But I will say, as far as uh, as far as fast foods go, I'm impressed. They're really good, like. Um, ice cream, shakes, milkshakes, if you're into that. So yeah, I had a baby. I took a two plus year hiatus. I have filmed twice though in that time. One of the times I don't know what happened, but the second time I tried to sit down and eat with my baby. She just cried the whole time. Don't nobody want to watch that. And I kind of like Squishing my onion rings together so that they're more dippable. I have napkins. Mm. And, and, and. They actually use like real cheddar. It's not a American. Like red onions and real cheddar on a burger, and you're at seven eighty nine for the combo. And a potato roll. Looks like the little flour dusting. Oh shit. Almost done. I'm getting sleepy. I swear, does nobody have Google like maps or navigation nowadays? Like I live on a cul-de-sac and the two cars that have driven by both like just turn around. Like if people like there's more there's more traffic of people like going the wrong way on this cul-de-sac than people who like live on it. I have kids and sometimes they like are driving like fast and crazy you're not even supposed to be here you're driving like a crazy person in a cul-de-sac where there's young kids get fucking google maps Right. My nails were really cute before they started breaking. They were Valentine's nails. You can see the design. So I'm going to Hawaii so soon. I'm so not ready. Um and so the nails I get today will be my Hawaii nails. I got to think of a cute design. So. 
sleepy deepy. Every time I eat myself sleepy. Oh, all done, as my baby would say. All done. Well, I hope all 10 of you thoroughly enjoyed that and that you are at ease to know that I am alive um, after a long hiatus. Maybe I'll post more. Maybe I'll take some requests. Maybe not. Uh, the baby, the baby will decide. She'll decide our fate. 